Hey, Alpha fam, welcome back to another episode of Alpha Commission. Today on Alpha Commission, of course, we're going to go over that pump on the Bitcoin chart, as well as the uh, spike in some of these altcoins just following Bitcoin's lead there. Guys, if we do uh, just to go over to some transparency, uh, we can see that in the Discord, I was giving the setups uh, for this Bitcoin uh, pump where we did have the uh, momentum pool as well as the volatility pivot uh, should we cross those lines then we would be looking towards the upside. And so here you can see yesterday at 10 a.m. I did give the setup for Bitcoin. And of course, uh, on uh, leverage, we would have gotten a pretty sizable move. A 2.6% move is uh, nothing to sneeze at uh, when you're doing leverage trading, guys. Uh, usually uh, these kind of uh, snipe scalpers are looking for, you know, half a percent, you know, maybe a percent. So two and a half is uh, really good. And then if we look over at the soul chart, that I did give in the Discord, you can see uh, that we did get a solid six uh, plus percent, which is just uh, absolutely killing it. Uh, guys, let's just go over and make sure that we did get that set up. And yes, of course, at yesterday at 10.30 a.m., I did post that one as well. So guys, you could have had these entries. Uh, just because I'm not posting videos regularly doesn't mean that I'm not supporting the community. Guys, you got to join the Discord. It is in the link uh, in the description of this video below. Let's jump right over to the Bitcoin chart. And guys, I just want to remind you that here on the weekly, as long as we're over the weekly Bollinger Band midline, that we are going to be, in fact, in a bull market. Bull market, bull market, bull market, bull market. Bull market guys we are in a bull market unless we violate this line now i have created this diagonal here and we did not violate that diagonal yet so guys please don't be too bearish you should be taking some chances okay just in case we have a run now i know that of course markets need to have pullbacks but if everyone's trying to freak you out just remember we have a line in the sand okay we understand the point at which we're going to be out of this market and we haven't crossed that line yet also even if we dip under it should we reclaim it we also understand where we're going to get back into the market so there was a sc uh, scary dip here but we got back in the market and aren't you glad that we did alpha fam look we had been crashing for over a year and we crossed that line and aren't you glad that we got into the market alpha fam yes you absolutely are glad because we are just absolutely killing it guys so guys alpha fam pay attention to this line we haven't violated it there's nothing wrong with this market yet now you guys can understand that when uh you know we flow up and down sometimes uh, we do uh, have these uh, shakeout points where uh, of course um, you know you can see that for several weeks we're up several weeks we're down here we're a week we're up a couple weeks we're down up down up down up down right so that's just how it goes now we have had a couple weeks uh, to the upside then we had a couple weeks to the downside and so sooner or later we're going to get some type of a chance for either a mean reversion uh, take out some liquidity to the upside before pushing back down or we're just going to get that kind of epic pump so you got to be ready in this market and for that i did give us some setups let's just jump over uh, to the six hour here and of course, I did give us some setups in the last episode where we were talking about the new structures that I was seeing. Now, I did call this before almost anyone else in the uh, market was calling these structures. And of course, uh, the first one was that broadening uh, wedge that we were in. And I said, uh, this baseline is likely to be a great place of support. Now, what do you guys see here for us? Well, you do see a shoulder, a head, and a shoulder. So this could be... Um, a kind of really, really janky head and shoulders, or at least the price action that mimics it, that could send us back up. So we do want to be looking towards the upside after we get this kind of, you know, this upside down kind of crown pattern here, sort of like we had this kind of crown pattern right here and it dropped us down. Okay, so we just want to be on the lookout. Now that doesn't mean that necessarily this drop is over, uh, just like in these previous drops, 
you know, we could scarily drop below the Bollinger Bands midline here on the weekly. Of course, I'm on the six hour chart, but this is the diagonal that I drew out that's uh, based upon the weekly Bollinger Band midline. Basically, that line in the sand to, to choose whether we're in a bull market or not. And guys, we're currently inside of it. So we could have a scary shakeout underneath it. And as long as we pop back up above that uh, band, which I'm just kind of just arbitrarily setting because it's a diagonal, right? So it moves over time. I'm just arbitrarily setting that as around 28,500, 29,000. As long as we're securely above that area, I can't be too bearish, guys. I'm just going to keep an open mind that we could push to the upside, and I'm still looking at higher numbers. I feel that we're still in a bull market. Guys, now we would also have these other structures that I was pointing out to you, which of course is the chance for a falling wedge. Now, I was calling this back here before the other guys were calling it, and I just uh, don't make videos every day because it's going to waste your time. You should just watch the last video, and you would understand what we, I was pointing out. And, of course, we did get that pop up. We got a pullback, and now there's the potential for us to continue onward. How would we know are we going to continue onward? Well, first, we'd want to take out this week high somewhere around $30,020, and then we would want to take out this high over here around $30,000. $400. If we're able to take out those numbers, then we could see that we're going to be back in an uptrend. Now, if we do uh, carry on for that uptrend, then we can uh, suggest that the measured move would be played out somewhere around that 30,400 to 30,500, and we may see a pullback from there, or we could see a continuation. If we do get continuation, uh, the key levels that we're looking to uh, you know, be supported by here based upon uh, the current six hour chart is going to be actually way down here at uh, 29,000. So again, just uh, supporting my thesis is that as long as we're above 29,000, we are in good shape to the upside. And as you can see, um, we are in the bullish control zone above 29,400. So that means that we do have significant amount of energy behind us right now. That's why I have this alpha energy line over here measuring the intensity of the move. And of course, we crossed that at 29,400. And you can just see how the candle is going. Uh, guys, this is, of course, the levels that I gave in the uh, Discord. So if we do want to update that, we can see the new levels that you need to pay attention to are just hanging on to that 29,400. And we should not only maintain our momentum to the upside, but the bulls will continue to be in control. In other words, we could have a pullback all the way uh, back to 29,400. And it's no skin off an R back on the uh, six hour. We could have continuation to the upside. And as long as we hold above 29,100, then we haven't lost uh, any significant momentum, although our bias does start to shift around 29,200 potentially to the downside. So you just want to prepare yourself mentally uh, should we get under the pool, under that pivot at 29,200, and then the bottom of that uh, pool was 29,100. Then you might be looking to short back to our range lows somewhere around 28,700. If we do uh, take a look at the daily chart, then your new daily key levels are going to be roughly the same, except we're going to be looking at around 29,183. And uh, the pivot over here is 29,000. So roughly the same uh, range that we're looking at. And the neutral point of control for the daily is going to be above that 29,400. In other words, uh, we can expect that the bulls on the daily chart uh, will re remain in control as long as we're above that $29,400 area. And then you can see my my measured move actually takes us all the way up to that 30,400-ish area where bulls will gain control on the daily. Uh, bears don't gain control unless we fall under 28,689. So again, supporting my uh, premise uh, using numbers this time, using uh, math, which is that uh, we are pretty safe above 28,500. And uh, you know we're pretty dang secure above 29,000. Guys, I think that's going to wrap it up for me. Uh, please do subscribe subscribe to the Discord. Uh, you can uh, see those uh, moves, for example, for Solana. Of course, I do Bitcoin on this chart, but uh, if you want to see the other coins, then uh, please do join the Discord, and we'd be glad to have you. Uh, that's your alpha for the day. Stay safe, and happy trading.